Welcome to our overview demonstration of Flex TMF, advanced ETMF software purpose built for TMF management by Flex Global, the global leader in trial master file. In this brief demonstration, we'll cover the highlights of Flex Global's ETMF technology, such as the industry's only AI powered document classification engine that improves speed and accuracy, intelligent completeness capabilities that simplify management of expected documents and build in TMF quality workflows, including risk-based daily QC sampling and our unique quality review functionality for periodic TMF review. Most important, however, is how this technology innovation supports overall TMF health and inspection readiness. Let's take a quick look at how they do it. Now I'm gonna log into my Flex TMF system once again, this is a cloud-based system, so being able to access it through my web browser anywhere around the world. And what you'll see when you log in by default are our dashboards. And our dashboard page is really designed to start to visualize some of those elements of TMF health to you when you get in. There's about 30 or so different widgets and dashboards you can choose from, and they're configurable from there. And this really helps me start to just get an idea of what's going on in my TMF when I log in, whether I'm interested in a specific trial across an entire program, or even comparing certain CROs against each other, or different KPIs. Next, we're gonna move over to my documents module. My documents module is my primary way for navigating around my TMF. Starting with the tree view over here on the left, we get a dynamically viewable and searchable tree that allows me to look through my content. Starting with program, moving through my trial, and then down through whatever filing structure I have loaded in the system, I can leaf through my documents just like a real folder. In this case, I'm gonna look through, down and through a site, and then down through zone, section, artifact, and even sub-artifact are available within the tree. If I click on a site as an example, I get a roll-up of all of the documents and expected documents that I have for that site. The filters tab allows me to start looking through the metadata or descriptive data that we've collected around the documents. This allows me to do searches as varied as documents that I've uploaded, look for documents that are expiring, or even just certain types of documents that are available in the system. Type aheads allow me to quickly work through larger lists of documents, in this case artifacts, and only find the documents that I'm looking for very quickly, even if I don't speak reference model. In this case, maybe I'm looking for PI and sub ICVs. What you'll see from here is the, doc the system very quickly filters down to these types of documents. Finally, the search bar up here allows more of your traditional Google-like search through your TMF content. Here's where I can type in, type in somebody's name or a phrase or any kind of word that I'm looking for in a document. This quickly searches through my text and finds any of the documents that match the text that I'm looking for. A preview window is available to take a look at the document. If I actually want to take a look at the document itself, I can click anywhere else on this row and a document will be loaded in another common screen you're going to see in Flex TMF called the Document View Panel. In the Document View Panel, most of the screen is dedicated to viewing the document itself. Over on the right, you'll see any of that metadata or descriptive data that's been captured around this document. Metadata is configurable for different document types, and this will be gone through with you when you're setting up the system. The Quality tab allows me to create queries for a document. Queries, similar to EDC queries, allow you to capture any kind of problem that's been found within a document, whether that's during a QC or a periodic review, or just when you're looking around the system. eQuery functionality is critical to a TMF system to centralize those lists of open issues and other things that have happened as part of your trial. New queries can easily be opened if there's a problem found in a document. In this case, maybe some patient identifying information. The query immediately might remove a document from circulation in this case, and I can very quickly type in what the problem is, and the system will kick off a workflow to remove this document from circulation. Queries are viewable at any given time, and you can roll up queries based off protocol, country, site, uploader, and many other variables that allow you to, at a moment's glance, see what the open issues are with any given trial. Next, we're gonna talk about document upload. 
Getting a document into the TMF is as simple as a drag and drop. I can navigate to the tree where I'd like to upload a document, take my document, and drag it directly over into where I would like it to go. In this case, an IRB submission. As I let go, the document is uploaded and I'm presented with the screen confirming my upload. What you can see is the advantage of uploading directly into the tree is all these metadata fields are implied by the dynamic nature of the tree. And I can avoid the costly time and energy spent clicking through multiple uploads or multiple dropdowns just for a single document. If there's any additional fields required, I can populate them here. In this case, I need a date. And I can save the document off and it will continue on at its workflow, whether that be indexing or QC or going straight to final or any other configurable workflow, which we'll talk about next. Additionally, for document uploads, I can upload just about any type of document into Flex TMF. The system will automatically render the document to PDF if it is not already a PDF and create OCR data if needed. I can also upload multiple documents this way by grabbing a bunch of different documents. And if I'm a CRA and just came back from a monitoring visit, I can simply drag those documents maybe onto the site or somewhere else and come back and categorize those documents later if necessary. Next, we'll take a look at how to QC a document. Risk-based QC is becoming imperative to clinical teams to ensure efficient compliance and control over TMF content. FlexTMF offers multi-factored adjustable QC sampling, which ideally are based off feedback loops and quality query rates within the system. Documents are sampled for QC, and as a reviewer, I can click the review button to navigate to the first document that needs a quality check. Our exclusive artificial assistant, Vera, is there to offer suggestions for what it believes is the correct formatting and filing for this document. In this case, we have a document that was filed as an IRB submission. However, the system is suggesting it's actually an informed consent form. And after careful verification, we can confirm. Now we can accept the changes that this is a child assent and continue to review the document and its suggestions. If anything is not correct or a document needs to be rescanned or queried, we can open up a query as before. However, if everything is okay, we can simply complete the QC and move on to the next document. The system then brings up the next document I need to work on, and I can quickly work through my reviews in this manner, working through lists even with a large team to coordinate the QC process. Next, we're gonna take a quick look at how FlexTMF manages completeness. In FlexTMF, we focus great effort into making sure completeness is easy to manage and update. Events are one of these tools we've developed to manage changes to trials as they progress. Things like changes to site personnel, monitoring visits, and amendments are all examples of events. To raise an event, I simply click on a trial, country or site. I click the raise event button, and in this case, I'm gonna raise an amendment. I give the amendment a name, and then I choose the type of event that this is, in this case, a protocol amendment. Now, a protocol amendment isn't just a protocol amendment document. It's a whole story and series of documents that need to be collected in order to properly reflect that amendment to an inspector. What you'll see is the system then suggests a number of different documents to add into the TMF structure based off this type of amendment, including IRB submissions and approvals, and signature pages at every site. Events are flexible where you can remove requirements for specific instances and even add additional document requirements for this specific plan. In this way, they're prescriptive, but also not so restrictive and allow you to capture what's really happened with your TMF quickly, easily, and you can move on with your day. From there, overall completeness reporting is available in multiple ways in Flex TMF. The simplest way to get completeness reporting is the completeness tab. I can click on the completeness tab and see right away that I have 22% of my expected documents for this study. I can also start to see I have certain amounts of documents in different workflow statuses and other things available to me from here. 
Now, what's important with this data is first off being able to see it, but then being able to play and flip this data around based off different things. So we can group this data by different ways. We can look across zone, which in some ways might be a proxy for functional area and see how data management is doing versus statistics. And likewise, I can flip things around by country or site or lots of other variables to see what's going on. Anything overdue is available, or any of these bars actually, is available by just simply clicking on these. So in this case for US Site 003, there's 19 overdue documents. And by clicking on this, I can see the 19 documents that are expected for this trial. This might be a list I use to go have a conversation with the CRA or that the CRA might use when they're going for a monitoring visit. The system also has a concept of milestones that exist at a trial, country, and site level to capture document due dates that might be different for different parts of the, your trial. In this way, the system can reflect accurately what is due now versus what is due in the future. Flex Global's exclusive quality review functionality enables periodic review of TMF content. In practical terms, TMF document relationships are cross-checked for consistency. Periodic or milestone-based reviews are crucial to well-formed TMF and oversight processes, ensuring the TMF tells a clear and collective story of the trial as intended. Reviews are conducted through packages, which allow you to sample documents for review. Which documents to review and what sampling is done is automated through review templates. Review templates operationalize your SOPs, so your study teams ensure compliance with review parameters. Here, I'm acting as a study manager, creating a package for my quarterly review. I'll name my package and save. Next, I'll accept the defaults for this package and move on to package assignment. Here's where I can break up my review into different parts to allow my study team to review the pieces. First, I'll sample my documents. As you can see here, as an example, this site has 22 documents that need to be reviewed. I'll assign that site to me here, but I can easily assign to other people. This will automatically notify the reviewer that there's work to do. It saves, them, saves the study team from sending out countless emails. This becomes also my command center to ensure my review is being completed on schedule. Next, we'll take a look at how a reviewer completes the review. As a reviewer, I'll either get an email or I'll also get an alert in the system letting me know that there's a review to complete. When I click on the link from the email or on the alert here, I'm taken to a new place in the documents module for this review. Here I can see the 22 documents that have been selected for review. If I click on one of those documents, I can bring up, in this case, a 1572 to review. I can zoom in and move around on my document just like anywhere else. And what you'll see on the right is the actual review request. The review request is going to have individual checks built into the system to ensure, based off the type of document, that I'm doing the cut types of checks that are needed. It has normal types of checks like make sure the document's complete and filled out, make sure it's filed in the right location, and make sure the IRB is correctly listed based off this being a 1572. But we also start to have some of these cross checks. As an example, looking at a 1572, a lot of times you're going to look at the list of sub investigators and investigators. Here you can see I can cross check the investigators that are listed in the 1572 versus the ones the system believes are there. I can see Zoe Summers is here, so I can check her off. I can see Dr. Matthews is listed. However, there's Dr. Newton listed here in the sub investigator form. However, I don't know and the system doesn't know and therefore my TMF might not even have knowledge of Dr. Paul Newton. If I find an example like this in my review, I can easily raise an event right here for Newton, which is going to then, as we talked about earlier, collect all of the documents that might be required for Dr. Newton. These kinds of reviews allow me to cross check and see and guide the reviewers uh, through the different types of reviews that are needed for them to do. These, th these rules are configurable and the setup of this will be gone over with you 
when configuring the system. We hope you have enjoyed this overview of our advanced ETMF software. As the global leader in trial master file compliance, Flex Global understands that an ETMF system must fully support your people and processes to achieve ongoing control over TMF health and inspection readiness, what we call the TMF health zone. What you have seen today was just a glimpse of how Flex TMF software can help you gain critical insight and control over completeness, timeliness, and quality, and enable TMF best practices at every step. Do more with less effort. For more information, or to request a guided demo of our innovative ETMF software, please contact Flex Global today.